OK, this is a quick tutorial I thought I'd put together for using the uh, Fruity Scratcher. Uh, you might have used it before and found you can get simple sounds like, like that out of it. Um, the problem with that, though, is that a lot of scratching sound or scratching techniques is actually a combination of that, of moving the record back and forth, as well as using the fader. So, which sounds something like this. So, you can see this volume control here. I'm able to control it from the keyboard so that I can chop up the sounds into smaller chunks, uh, which is a key part of, of a scratching sound. So, to get this set up was a technique uh, first done by a guy named Spiro and I've taken his setup and I've simplified it a little bit and I'm going to run you through how to get that set up. Okay, so we're just going to make a new blank document. I'm going to save changes. Okay, bring that volume down a little bit. Okay, so to bring up a scratcher, uh, you might know that that's actually uh, an effect, it's not an instrument. So to make a new scratcher, you go to the mixer window and on any particular channel you create a new uh, scratcher and there it is there so then I, I should also point out that um, this technique in terms of controlling the fader this is something that uh, you can only do properly in 6.4 if you're using your your, your computer keyboard to control the fader. Uh, in versions prior to that, you can use any MIDI keyboard, but um, there was a bug that was since fixed in the 6.4 beaters. Uh, okay, so so uh, now that we have this, uh, we're going to use the standard R sound, which is a standard scratching sample. And I found this on the internet. It doesn't take a huge amount of effort to find, so. Uh, the key thing in terms of using it for Scratcher is, uh, so I'm just going to drag this onto the Scratcher window. Again, this is something that you can do in the 6.4 beaters. So I'm just going to drag it over, and there it is. And notice that I've left a bit of a gap here at the start of the sample and at the end of the sample. It makes it a little bit easier to scratch when you're first starting out. Uh, so it's just something to be aware of. So now that that's there, uh, we can play that through. You can hear that scratching away. And we can pull it on. But the next thing is we'll have to set up the fader. So to do that, we're going to control the uh, volume knob from an envelope controller so that whenever we press a key on the keyboard, we'll be turning the volume control off and on. So to do that, we're going to go up to Channels. And we're going to go Add 1 and whoops, add one envelope controller which brings up this thing here so the trick with this which um, threw me the first few times is that by default it's not actually active you have to enable it and to do that you have this little button down here called enable envelope so if you turn that on now it's actually active and you can use it so to connect this through to the volume control, we're going to right click on the volume control and go link to controller and in this middle section here under internal controller we're going to open that up and go to envelope control articulator 1. And you can see that that corresponds with articulator 1 over here. So now that we've got that selected we can hit accept and we'll just let that play through for the moment. So see so you can see the shape of this envelope here. So it's a it's a fairly slow attack, uh, a, a fading sustain, and then a, a sharpish release. You can see that if I press a key on my keyboard, uh, I've got typing keyboard to piano keyboard enabled up here. If I press say the the Q key, you'll see now that each time I press it, the volume knob fades up and then fades back down again, which sounds like this. 
which is fine, except it's actually a little bit too slow to use for scratching. What we need to do is make that a much faster off-on. Like uh, in scratching terms, it's called a click, and it has to be a click. It has to be a nice, fast attack. So to do that, what we're going to do is first we're going to use these curve controls, these tension controls, to make this attack quite sharp by pulling it down like that. So it's a very quick up. And we do the same on the release as well. It's already partially set up. We're just going to exaggerate that a bit more like that. And then to make to make the attack really fast, we're going to push this whole thing over to the left. So I'm going to grab this control and put it right to there. And that one to there. And that one to there. So you can see now it's a very short, sharp attack. So that when I press it, if you look at the volume control here, when I press Q now, it's instantly on, and then when I let go, it's instantly off. So that when I combine that with the sound, if I hit play, it sounds like this. And with this already, I can do a basic scratch technique, which is called the transform, which is just pressing the fader on rhythmically in short bursts, which sounds like this. <coughs> and if I combine that with pulling the record back and forth, we get a fairly standard sounding scratch sound, which sounds like this. And that's the basics for getting the scratcher set up in FL Studio.